The Kingdom of Württemberg, located in the picturesque lands of southern Germany, has been a place where the threads of history, culture, and aristocratic traditions have intertwined for centuries. Founded in 1806 and existing until the end of World War I, this state was not only a political power but also a cultural center of Europe, home to one of the most influential royal families closely related to the great dynasties of Europe. The monarchs of Württemberg played a significant role in the continent's history, actively participating in European politics and diplomatic initiatives, strengthening alliances through marriages with representatives of leading dynasties. Beyond their political influence, the House of Württemberg was renowned for its aspirations to greatness, refined taste, and a penchant for surrounding itself with masterpieces of art, architecture, and of course, exceptional jewelry. The royal family of Württemberg maintained close ties with other ruling houses of Europe. Through strategic marriages and dynastic unions, they fortified familial connections with the Russian, British, and Bavarian royal families, adopting the lavish traditions of these courts. The princes and princesses of Württemberg grew up among majestic palaces, glittering ceremonies and treasures, each reflecting the wealth and high status of the dynasty. The jewelry of the Württemberg queens was not merely accessories, but symbols of their power, legacy, and strong connections with European aristocracy. Since its foundation under King Friedrich I, the ruling dynasty has placed special emphasis on demonstrating grandeur and prestige. This was manifested not only in magnificent palaces and cultural patronage, but also in the stunning adornments worn by queens and princesses. Like many European monarchs, the rulers of Württemberg understood well the significance of jewels. A tiara or necklace could be not only an ornament, but also an embodiment of wealth, influence, and even political connections. One such outstanding piece is the Württemberg diamond tiara. This magnificent diamond diadem, created in the early 19th century, features an elegant design reminiscent of the adornment crafted by court jeweler August Heinrich Kuhn for Queen Pauline of Württemberg in 1820. This jewel, representing an exquisite crown, eventually passed to Queen Charlotte, wife of King Wilhelm II, who is depicted wearing it in portraits. Kuhn's jewelry for Queen Pauline was considered state property rather than personal treasures, which is why they remain part of the national heritage and are displayed for public viewing in Stuttgart. The modern royal family of Württemberg, descending from the ducal branch after the extinction of the royal line in 1921, continues to preserve these relics. The diamond tiara first attracted public attention in 1957 when Duchess Maria Theresa of Württemberg wore it for her wedding to Prince Henri, Count of Clermont, in the Royal Chapel in Drummond. The following year, the tiara graced Duchess Elizabeth of Württemberg during her wedding ceremony to Prince Antoine of Bourbon, Sicily at Altshausen Castle. Since then, this ornament has remained an important part of the family's wedding traditions. The Württemberg ruby tiara is one of the most striking and memorable pieces in the collection of this ancient dynasty. Part of a magnificent parure, it includes not only the tiara, but also earrings and a large brooch pendant designed for a corsage. This masterpiece of jewelry was created around 1900 by the court jeweler Kochert, a master jeweler of the Austro-Hungarian Empire. During that time, Archduchess Maria Immaculata of Austria-Tuscany married Duke Robert of Württemberg, and the ruby parure became an integral part of her dowry. Interestingly, sources do not specify who gifted this magnificent present. It could have been Emperor Franz Joseph I or someone from the influential Habsburg family. Such generous gifts adorned with precious stones were commonplace in that era. It is known that Archduchess Margaret Sophia of Austria, the emperor's niece, also received several ruby and diamond jewels from Kochert in 1893. The pearl and diamond tiara gifted to Maria Immaculata by her mother, Princess Maria Immaculata of Bourbon, Sicily, was another striking wedding present enriching the family's jewelry collection. Archduchess Maria Immaculata is depicted in several portraits wearing this stunning ruby tiara. These portraits were created shortly after her marriage to Duke Robert of Württemberg. Although the couple had no children, many of Maria Immaculata's jewels were passed on to other family members, including Princess Nadezhda of Bulgaria and Duke Albrecht Eugen of Württemberg. In 1960, the ruby parure was presented as a wedding gift to Princess Diana of Orléans when she married her distant nephew, Duke Karl of Württemberg. Princess Diana, Duchess of Württemberg, frequently appeared in this luxurious adornment at official events, ceremonial dinners, and balls. A series of family portraits taken in the 1970s also immortalized her in the ruby tiara. 
A few years later, the tiara was passed on to Diana's second son, Duke Philip of Württemberg. His wife, Duchess Maria Carolina of Bavaria, also wore this parure at various official events. However, their marriage ended, and the fate of this treasure remains a mystery. Perhaps it will reappear in public, or maybe it will be passed down to future generations. It's impossible not to mention another outstanding family relic, the Sapphire Tiara, often referred to as the Big Gun of the Württemberg Collection. This parure, in addition to the impressive tiara, includes a cluster necklace, drop earrings, and a massive sapphire brooch. Handed down from generation to generation, this adornment has served as a symbol of the family's prestige and wealth. Archduchess Rosa of Austria-Tuscany, the mother of the current Duke of Württemberg, wore the sapphire parure at a gala honoring the wedding of Prince Juan Carlos of Spain and Princess Sophia of Greece in 1962. Princess Diana of Orléans, Duchess of Württemberg, also adorned herself with the sapphire parure at significant events. She was seen wearing it at the wedding of her eldest son, Duke Friedrich, in 1993, as well as at a formal ball in 1991 held to celebrate the wedding of Duchess Sophia's parents. Next, we have the Württemberg Pearl Tiara, a stunning example of jewelry artistry and one of the most exquisite creations of its time. This unique tiara was specially crafted for young Queen Wilhelmina in 1897, just a year before her formal coronation. It is a true masterpiece of jewelry adorned with 35 round pearls and 11 pear-shaped pearls as well as numerous sparkling diamonds. It is believed that its creation was commissioned by the renowned jewelry company Royal Van Kempen and Begeer, famous for its elegant pieces. Interestingly, there is a hypothesis that the pearl tiara may have been remodeled from an earlier piece the diamond and pearl tiara belonging to Queen Sophia, Wilhelmina's mother. It is quite possible that this was an invisible tiara inherited by her son, Prince Alexander. For this reason, Wilhelmina's tiara is sometimes referred to as the Württemberg Elegant Pearl Tiara, although no definitive evidence has been found linking these two pieces. The 1897 tiara features a versatile design and can be worn in four different variations. The first option includes all 11 pear-shaped pearls which are secured in two rows at the top of the tiara. Five pearls adorn the highest elements, while six are placed on the lower sections. The second option uses only five pearls on the upper elements, while the third involves only six pearls on the lower ones. The fourth option is the classic version of the tiara, without any pear-shaped pearls on top. Queen Wilhelmina made her first official appearance in this adornment in 1898, choosing the second variation of the tiara for several official portraits taken after her ascension to the throne. One of these portraits was even used for a stamp that circulated in the Netherlands for many years during the early 20th century. However, despite this grand debut, Wilhelmina did not show much interest in the tiara, and there are very few photographs of her wearing it. After Wilhelmina's abdication in 1948, the tiara passed to her daughter, Queen Juliana, who actively used it for official events. Juliana often chose this piece for state visits, including trips to the United Kingdom and Denmark. In one photograph taken in London in 1950, Juliana showcases the tiara in its fullest version, with all 11 pear-shaped pearls. In the 1960s, Juliana made a wise decision by establishing a family foundation, where she transferred most of the jewelry collection, ensuring that these treasures would remain within the family and not be sold or lost through marriage or inheritance. The pearl tiara became one of the most significant pieces included in this foundation, and it continues to be held by the royal family, embodying their history and traditions. A beautiful continuation of the series on the jewels of the Württemberg dynasty is the story of unique pieces that unfortunately have been sold at auction. Let's take a look at some of these stunning masterpieces of jewelry art. One of these exceptional pieces is a brooch with natural pearls and diamonds dating back to the mid-19th century. The brooch is adorned with a slightly Baroque pear-shaped pearl that adds softness and elegance, along with sparkling pink diamonds. This precious item belonged to Princess Pauline zu Wied and was passed down to Duchess Maria von Württemberg. The next stunning piece is the Kochert brooch featuring rubies and diamonds created around 1893. This brooch is a true masterpiece of jewelry art. Designed in the shape of a bow, it is embellished with cushion-cut diamonds, round diamonds, and small pink diamonds. The design of the brooch draws special attention, a naturalistic bush of wild roses with ruby stamens and buds supported by sparkling diamonds. Interestingly, the parts of the brooch are removable, adding versatility to this piece. 
It was gifted to Archduchess Margaret Sophie of Austria, Duchess of Württemberg, as a wedding present and has been passed down through the family as a legacy. Equally impressive is the Cochert ruby and diamond necklace tiara, also dated to 1893. Like the brooch, the necklace is designed as a bush of wild roses adorned with oval rubies and cushion-cut diamonds. The flower heads and pendants are removable, allowing it to be worn as a tiara, a unique opportunity that combines elegance with practicality. This necklace was also gifted by Emperor Franz Joseph I to his niece, Archduchess Margaret Sophie. Another remarkable piece is the Cochert ruby and diamond tiara, dated 1896, which belonged to Duchess Isabella of Württemberg, Princess of Saxony. The tiara features a bow and ribbon design decorated with oval and cushion-cut rubies, as well as set with cushion and round diamonds. Interestingly, the tiara consists of three bow motifs and four removable arches, adding incredible flexibility. This piece was last worn at a ball by the daughter of Duke Albert Eugen, Duchess Sophia of Württemberg, in 1997. Of course, these are far from all the jewels that belong to the Württemberg dynasty. Many of them have rich histories and unique designs. Perhaps soon I will make a video about the other treasures of this magnificent dynasty. If you enjoyed this video, please don't forget to like and leave a comment. Thank you for watching.